Hello, it's Mike Carney from the Teaser Product Marketing here at NZ Universe. Um, I'm now going to talk to Rick Fox, who's Head of Information Systems at Airwave Solutions from the UK. Hello, Rick. Hi, good afternoon. Can you tell us a little bit about Airwave Solutions and, and what they do? What's, what's your business? Yeah, sure. Airwave Solutions, we provide um, a UK-wide um, network for our uh, police, fire and ambulance customers and about 300 other public safety organisations. And what we offer them is secure voice and data communications uh, the length of the country. Okay, so, so I think you use the term um, first responders. These people are often the people who respond to major events. So they obviously need a very reliable, secure network in order to maintain communication. Is that right? Absolutely, yeah. And our network is... And, sorry, our, our network, we, we provide a fully resilient network across the UK. So in essence, there's almost two networks there. So we can have a full resilience across both sides. We can flip in and out of DR and we keep that service running 24-7, obviously. And give me an idea of the scale. How many people are then perhaps involved in communicating on that network? There's about 250,000 um, subscribers on a, the network. A quarter of a million people. A quarter of a million people. Right, that's, that's, that's a huge, it's a huge um, communications network to be It can be, and it can be a huge challenge as well, right. you know, to make sure that those communications are all happening. Um, the network itself is a finite resource, so we, we, you know, we really have to manage that capability to make sure everybody hears what they need to hear. Right, so tell us a little bit about, about what Nateza does for you in your business. How do you use Nateza? Okay, well, the Nateza really helped us sort of revolutionise some of the way we do business in that uh, we can now take our network data and rather than um, show it to our customers in elapsed time, we're actually getting to a more near real-time situation, so we're publishing data out to them in about 90 seconds of it happening on the ground, right. allowing them to understand the impact they're having on our network okay. and then ultimately you know, alter working practices or, or move things around to make sure they're getting the best out of the capacity that's there. Right, so you said that a network is always a finite resource, so essentially what you're providing is a, a, a series of information tools back to them to enable them to make the best decisions to make best use of that finite resource. Absolutely, you know, the finite resource is there, we need to make sure that everybody hears what they need to hear. You know, hearing half the conversation is no good when you're in right. a, an operational situation, you need to hear all the communications and we're, we're trying hard to make sure they do that. Right, now, now London is, um, you know, it's often on the world, world stage in terms of large events. And just recently in London, we've had a very large and uh, well-watched event in, in the Royal Wedding. Can you tell us a little bit about um, you know, the, the, the role of uh, your company in, in, in that large event? Sure. I mean, obviously, the real stars of the shows are the, the police fan ambulance guys that are on the ground of actually, actually running the event. But you know, we're, we're pleased to be associated with it. And you know, we, we help them um, monitor what's going on, especially in those situations where there's a, lot of, uh, there's a dense population of uh, first responders in a particular area. You know, and we're providing tools to them in real time and dashboard information that allow them to see who's hearing what, what talk groups are running, what people are communicating. Right. And really manage that to make sure that, again, it's all about making sure the message is heard. Right. And the event itself went completely flawlessly. I don't think there was any, or I don't think the public heard anyway, of any adverse event whatsoever in the whole event. It was it sure, just no, it was, went it was smooth, a great day. It? Yeah, um, it, was. it was a great day Excellent. in the UK and I think a good advert for us, for the royal family. Absolutely, absolutely. Rick, I really appreciate you. Thank you very much, Rick. I think that was a really interesting example of how the real-time information enables this idea of the smarter planet. Thank you.